This is the beginning and end. So here oval shape is used to represent beginning and end of a flowchart. In this is input and as well as output and details processing. So accordingly, this rhombus it takes only one input and it goes in two directions: one for true and one for false. For i equal to one to n, when from one up to given number n, we have to keep multiplying the number. Dear students, welcome to computer science classes. I am Ravi Kumar K R, lecturer in computer science, Vidyasham Pu College, Temple of Excellence, Mysore. Students, let us start our session with the topic flowchart. So, in our previous session, we have discussed about an algorithm. Now, here we will see what is flowchart. Now. A flowchart is a diagrammatic representation of an algorithm. Is called flowchart. Now, actually, what of algorithm and flowchart? These two are the two tools to design a solution to a problem. So, flowchart is a diagrammatic representation, whereas algorithm is a textual representation. And here, flowchart helpful in understanding the logic of complicated and lengthy problem see as it is a diagrammatic representation by looking at the flow chart it's easy for us to get the logic or to know the logic very easily because in algorithm it was a textual representation but flow chart is diagrammatic so it convey more meaning as compared to algorithm so it is drawn by using different geometrical shapes so here as we have seen in the definition so it is a diagrammatic representation how do we draw flow chart by using different geometrical shapes now let us see the different shapes used in flow chart so here first we say one is oval so this is oval it indicate start as we have seen in algorithm see every algorithm and flow chart must start and it has to an end at particular point so to represent the beginning of flow chart we use this oval oval is a symbol to re it represent the beginning of a flow chart and it also used to represent the end of the flow chart so beginning and end so this oval shape is used to it defines the start and end of a flow chart next one is parallelogram so this is a shape geometrical shape used for input and as well as output so what is input and output as to process to solve any particular problem we have to input the data and computer process it and we get the result so to represent input and output operation we use parallelogram next one is process or calculation so this is rectangle so we are using rectangle geometrical shape to indicate the processing or calculation next preparation so this is we are using one for loop a type of program construct so use this preparation this is a symbol we are using to represent for loop so for loop we are using for repetition of statements next one is rhombus this is a rhombus and for decision and branching so to represent a decision or branching statement we use rhombus and this is predefined process called sub programs and this is connector or this is a circle nothing but connection or connector so we are using this circle the connect the flow chart written on different papers on different locations for example the if our flow chart doesn't fit into one page so we have to continue on some other page or next page so to continue or to connect the flow charts written on two different pages we use connectors so here we using circle it is it's meant for connecting two different flow charts and 
arrows these are nothing but control flow what is control flow see we have seen in algorithm step 1 step 2 step 3 and so on till we reach the end of an algorithm so here step 1 step 2 step 3 it indicate flow of logic or statement to be executed one after the another similarly in flow chart to represent the flow control flow or the next statement to be executed we use this arrows here we are using four different types of arrows to represent flow of logic or control flow okay by looking at the different shape now let us write a flow chart for as an example now this is a flow chart to interchange the values of two variables to interchange the values of two variable now we can also see the an algorithm for the same here algorithm step 1 start input a and b here we have to interchange the values of two variables so we have to enter two numbers so input a and b and this is the logic of the program logic of algorithm then we have to find out the result or we have to print the result this is an end so this is an algorithm now let us see the flow chart here what we have seen in start so here we are using a oval shape that is to start start a flow chart next one is input we have to input the values of two variables a and b now this is a logic temp equals to a a equal to b and b equals to temp then after this processing this is processing this is input process and uh, output so it going to print the final interchanged values of a and b we have to stop the flow chart here so this is the beginning and end so here oval shape is used to represent beginning and end of a flow chart in this is input and as well as output and it is processing actually this is the logic here what is the logic here for example i want to interchange the values of variables a and b so here i am using one more variable temp so let us assume that let value of a is 10 and value of b is 20 now if i want to interchange that the logic here is temp equals to a what is the meaning of this we are assigning value of a to the variable temp so we are pushing this a up to this position so this is value 10 then after this so here b a equals to b here value of b will be assigned to a variable a so we are pushing this variable to here or the value of b to a so it's going to overwrite on 10 so value of a becomes 20 now this is also 20 next one is temp equals to b means the value of temp or the value stored in the variable temp will be moved to b or assigned to b so accordingly so this temp will be moved to this so 10 this is 10 is going to overwrite on the same variable or same value it is 10 so at the end of this process at the end of this process the values of two variables are interchanged so this is the logic so this is processing so this is a flow chart to interchange the values of two variables given variables a and b so this is the flow chart now let us move on to next example it is a flow chart to find area and circumference of a circle here same thing here this algorithm start and input radius now we know the formula area equal to pi r squared and circumference equal to 2 pi r here we supposed to as per the formula we supposed to enter the values of radius so here radius and this is a constant 3.14 this is the formula so according to this formula we supposed to enter the values of radius then this is input and this is processing by by using formula and this is output so at the end we have to print the value of area and value of circum so this is an algorithm now let us say the flow chart for the same here as usual algorithm flow chart 
starts with oval start and first one is input radius or ad stands for radius so input radius and here we have written radius so input radius and here formula area equals pi r squared we used to write r into r or radius into radius this is what the value we have entered for this then for circumference formula is 2 pi r 2a multiplied by pi value of pi is 3.14 and multiplied by r radius so this is calculation or process then at the end we get we have to print the result output area and circum or circumference of a circle so this is a flow chart to and here note down we have to stop at this stage so this is the flow chart to find area and circumference of a circle now let us move on to one more example this is to find the greater of two numbers so first one is start this is an algorithm we have to enter the values of a and b read a and b and here we are using if a greater than b here we are comparing these two numbers a and b if a is greater than b obviously we have to say a is greater or largest suppose if condition fails else means what here else means this is fake condition is not true in that case we have to print b is largest and we have to stop we have to close that or we have to end this algorithm so same logic for this here and here start beginning of a you know, flow chart input a and b we have to enter two numbers or values of two numbers a and b then here we are using this rhombus this is a rhombus it is a decision making diagram or de decision making geometrical shape so here inside this we are going to write the condition look at this algorithm here this is the condition a greater than b this is a condition same thing we are writing here so if you look at this any condition will be having most probably the two possible answers either true or false or yes or no so accordingly this rhombus it takes only one input and it goes in two directions one for true and one for false so here a greater than b so if suppose a is true or we are a is greater than b is true in that way we have to print a is greater so output a we are using this flow lines to print output a so after printing the value or the result output a we have to stop or we have to close this flow chart here suppose in this condition if condition fails or a greater than b if it is false false means obviously b is greater so we have to print or we have to output b and we have to stop this flow chart here or we have to end the flow chart here so this is the flow chart to find greatest of two numbers and here we have used one more geometrical shape rhombus decision making box and again we have used as usual for input parallelogram and for output parallelogram and this is over to start as well as stop flow chart so this is a flow chart to find greatest of two numbers next example is to find factorial of a number so you know already we have learned in our algorithm that is what is factorial it is multiplication of given number from one up to given number or successive multiplication of the digits from one up to the given number n so same thing here here you can compare this as well as this flow chart here and here input n we have to enter one number and that is n and here fact equals to one we this is we have to initialize the variable fact equals to one this is initialization of variable fact equal to one at the beginning let it be one so this is input and this is processing fact equal to one and we are using formula here this is for loop this is what we have mentioned here this is for this is loop or for loop for repetition of certain statements in a program 
so here for i equal to 1 to n means from 1 up to given number n we have to keep multiplying the number so what we do is and this has two one is yes this is for loop and here this is i first one value is i value of i equal to 1 1 less than n for example if n value is 5 first time i value is 1 1 is less than or equal to 5 true so we have to multiply the fact equals to fact into i so it's going to multiply fact value is 1 1 into this i 1 1 into 1 1 so after this again it comes to this now here i value is changes to 2 so it is 2 2 less than n it is true it comes here then it is fact into 2 here it was 1 into 2 2 so this process so this step is one particular statement is repeated number of times as long as this condition is true and after completing the statement at the end of number of repetition value will be stored in the variable fact that is nothing but the factual of a number that has to be printed out so and then we have to stop the flowchart here so this is a flowchart to find the factorial of a given number so this is an algorithm as well as this is a flowchart so flowchart is a diagrammatic representation to represent solution to a problem and here we are using different geometrical shapes as we have seen here oval parallelogram and in the previous example it was a rhombus and everything so this is nothing but a flowchart students let us continue our discussion in our next session thank you very much